I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is low semen volume and how does it affect your fertility is today's topic. Semen volume is uh, calculated according to WHO standards. World Health Organization has uh, done these studies on numerous fertile and infertile men and they have concluded that the normal semen volume can be anywhere from 1.5 ml to 5 ml so when this is normal anything outside these ranges is considered as abnormal since we're talking about low semen volume let's see what the underlying conditions are this phenomenon of low semen volume is called as hypospermia how do we come to this conclusion well the gold standard for analyzing sperms and semen is a semen analysis so when we do a semen analysis, we look at not just the sperm's concentration, motility and morphology. We also look at the volume, we look at the pH as in is the semen acidic, basic or how it should be, which is alkaline. All these things are assessed. We look at the appearance. Does it look like it's red? So is there any chance of uh, RBCs in the red blood cells? Uh, is there an internal bleeding which is causing the semen to be red or pinkish in color? Is it yellow? Is there a uh, chance of infection present? In addition to all this, we also look at WBCs, white blood cells, which could be an indication of some kind of an infection present. When we talk of low semen volume, we first need to understand where is the contribution of the semen coming from. You have to understand that only 5% of this entire volume is contributed by the testicles where the sperms are being produced. So sperms along with a little fluid from the testicles contribute only 5% of the volume. About 60% of this volume comes from seminal vesicles which is rich in fructose and ascorbic acid as in vitamin C. Now this gives a lot of energy to the sperms, their motility is maintained due to the contribution of the seminal vesicles. The prostate contributes about 30% of the seminal volume. So prostate is also very important. The prostate contributes zinc, it contributes uh, fatty acids, cholesterol, all these are contributed which also again add on to the, the energy substituent of the semen. Now 5% of this volume is contributed by a small gland called bulbourethral gland. Remember this, this is very important, we'll talk about the causes of hypospermia and uh, why you should be thinking about bulbourethral gland. Now the most important uh, factor is that a lot of psychological factors also contribute to hypospermia. Suppose you're stressed, you don't like the place where you're collecting the sample. Suppose you uh, are having uh, other psychological stress, if you're not collecting the sample and if you're uh, you know having intercourse or masturbating or you have observed that the volume is low look at the factors that are contributing psychologically are you stressed at work uh, is there something that you're thinking about these factors also contribute to hypospermia when we look at the medical conditions that directly relate to uh, low semen volume we should talk about obstructions in the whole passage from the time they are produced in the testicles to the time they pass through the seminal vesicles, prostate and they are ejaculated, sperms travel a long distance and any blockage in any of the, the small parts and the tubes may lead to blockage which could also be contributing to low semen volume. Since uh, prostate contributes about 30% of the semen volume, prostate could also be the reason why the volume is low. It could be due to cancer or any other prostate uh, infection which could be causing low semen volume. Then we also need to talk about dehydration. Any dehydration that has been happening chronically as in you consume very little water and this has been going on for a long time also contributes to low semen volume. Let's talk about hypogonadism which is also one of the causes of hypospermia. Low testosterone also causes low semen volume. So this has to be assessed medically by a urologist or your fertility specialist. If the testosterone levels are low that could also be the reason why the volume is low. Then there could be a congenital absence of seminal vesicles also could be the reason the volume is low. 60% of your volume as I said before is contributed by seminal vesicles and if these are absent then the volume is also low. Not just low volume it also causes semen should be alkaline in nature and absence of seminal vesicles leads to the semen being acidic in nature. Also an important factor to be considered is retrograde ejaculation. When the semen sample does not come out in an ejaculation goes backward into the urinary bladder it's called as retrograde ejaculation. So any such condition will result in very low volume or no volume at all which has to be assessed carefully to come to the conclusion that the issue is retrograde ejaculation and not anything else which is medically related to hypospermia. Let's also talk about uh, genetic abnormalities. Client filter syndrome or uh, where there is an extra X chromosome also can lead to low semen volume. So how can you increase your semen volume? 
first try to assess what the situation is as i said psychological issues must be addressed and if those are not the issues then uh, you need to see if proper collection of the sample was done especially when you're going for semen analysis the first part of the sample as i said bulbo urethral gland plays in a very important role here if you're not able to collect the first part of the sample that should be reported because that could be the reason why the volume is also low so these conditions can also lead to wrong reporting which uh, could be hypospermia medical conditions can be treated if the testosterone levels are low if there are other hypogonadism issues this can be treated by a urologist or fertility specialist these need to be addressed properly in right hands lifestyle changes can also bring about a huge change in semen volume if you are able to have a proper diet include a lot of water in your daily uptake this also leads to improvement in semen volume a study has shown that just 12% body weight lost in men has shown that semen volume improved now this study also brought to our notice that it's not just body weight loss lifestyle changes also contributed if you are uh, uh, alcoholic uh, then stopping alcohol for some time or if you are a smoker uh, reducing your smoking intake all these will result in proper semen volume if you want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you